What is up you guys, me Beast Boy here and welcome to another video analysis on Battlefield 1. Now I did another video analysis on Infinity Warfare, but this cannot top to Battlefield 1 as we are going back, EA and DICE have created a game where we're going back in time and fight in World War 1, which is amazing and yet everybody's getting excited about it and I can't wait for the game either. Anyway, we're going to get right into this quickly than possible. Uh, as we start, we see a soldier beating the crap out of a soldier with a looks like a trench club that has spikes on it. And that was commonly used because in the Western Front, um, trench shovels were used as digs um, to use as shovels originally because there was trench warfare going on. So that way they can dig more trenches and they were long. It took like almost miles to actually build those uh, trench warfare um, trenches, so they were pretty long. And also, and this is showing the video right now, uh, there are spikes on this one, and that was used in close to close combat. And then we get to this other scene, next scene, where a female horseback rider is riding on a horse through the desert, and I can tell that's an Austrian hunger um, soldier. And I don't know if there's any female soldiers back then, but you know, females weren't really into the war in World War One. But anyway, um, yeah, most of the austria hunger um, um, territory was mostly kind of desert. Right now, austria hunger today would um, is mainly just a part of um, Germany. It's not called austria hunger anymore. But anyway, we get to this next scene where we see a fire um, fire jet in the air, and their planes were mostly used in World War One. They were first introduced in World War One, actually, um, and it changed up a little bit on tactics as well. So that was also that was um, something else that was also introduced as well. There was many things introduced. I'm gonna get to those in the video today. But anyway, we see another scene where it's the same trench um, shovel, but it has no spikes on it. And that lead, led up to where EA and DICE said that there's going to be light and there's going to be heavy weapons. As well as the vehicles are also going to be heavy and light as well. But yeah, we see the soldier is knocking that guy out. And the guy is falling on the ground. We see his gun. I can't tell like what kind of gun it is, but it looks like a rifle as uh, such but anyway we're gonna get to the next scene where we see a red baron plane shooting down a enemy plane and they were also used that's the most common plane that i know that was used in the war the red baron is pretty popular to be uh to understand and to know when you first see it but anyway yes shooting down that enemy plane but it gets shot down itself and then we see a plane crash into a windmill and that leads up to another observation that I um, saw that and made me realize that most of the stuff that um, buildings that were in the middle of battlegrounds, uh, they were mostly destroyed. But obviously in this game, there were um, some of the stuff are not like easily like destroyed and such. And that led up to my um, in my head to think to myself like, wait, that doesn't make any sense because most of the stuff that were obviously destroyed. So we do have like, and because I remember in Heartline, they um, they used to be like you can also use C4 to um, put on walls, and all of a sudden they will obviously like blow up to bits and create a big giant hole, and that would make sense because it is a battlefield game. So um, anyway, we're gonna get to this next scene where um, we see a soldier um, controlling a tank, and this is also an Austrian hunger. Um, battleground as well and those are austria hunger soldiers right there and also we see a scene where austria hungers are riding horses and a plane is hovering above them now we see i don't know if this is what kind of soldiers this is i'm sorry <laughs> that guy a little tongue strike i don't know what kind of soldier that is but i think that is italian soldier and i can see he has like a little pistol in his hand as well as he's trying to take cover and also take fire at the enemy that's shooting them and then we go into this next scene where I see a soldier carrying a heavy weapon, and we see in the um, the soldier in the far 
Sinner, um, behind them, that is Mustard Gas, which is also used in the war as well because Mustard Gas was really... That's where um, Poisonous Gas got into the war as well. That was introduced. And, and because of that, also Gas Masses were also used as well. And that was a major thing. And to this next scene, I'm not really happy or I'm having concerns about this. Um, this soldier is wearing heavy metal, metal armor. And... <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, this was not commonly used in the war because obviously it would be too heavy to for the soldier to carry a um, that heavy armor. Now there was armor used in the wars. I mean, not covering all parts of the body, but some parts like chest area and soldiers and all soldiers and all that. But all around, that that wouldn't make any sense. But um, I guess EA yeah, just play around and Dice just decided to go with it. So um, yeah. Now we see um, we see an open landscape of the battleground, and we see planes hovering above it, and it's just all chaos right there. And it looks to me that some of the land has not been touched. So that leads leads to my next conclusion: like most of the land in World War in this game hasn't been has been touched because probably that's like receptor area or out of bounds or anything like that. But um, in the real World War One that led a long time ago, um, most of the um, terrain wasn't touched by um, Battleground, which led up to...